The radish tops are edible for salads, along with the radish bulbs. Going to upgrade my little fencing with some metal posts. I'm going to remove these little plates. For my purposes, they're just getting in the way. Here it is, all finished. It's a lot nicer with the white painted posts. And this is trellis netting. Got a little entryway. This is mostly to protect from deer, but I can walk in here. The, the deer won't come in this way. Got a little gap right here for a cat to sneak through. I can still access this side of the garage. While these little moth decoys help, they don't eliminate them 100%. There's one flying around right there. And I notice I'm getting some worms. When I start to see little holes in the leaves, and then I spin around, I can see the little caterpillar worm. That's the moth baby. Here are a couple more of those caterpillars. And here's the center of a collared plant. You can see it's all eaten up. So it's time to mix up a batch of BT worm and caterpillar killer. This is a natural bacteria that just makes the worms not hungry and it's organic and you can use it up to the day of harvest. I'll mix one teaspoon in a 32 ounce spray bottle and I'll spray the plants mainly in the centers and on the back side of the leaves. And pretty much immediately, those worms will stop eating the plants. And on average, I have to spray the kale and collards every 10 to 14 days.
I have something exciting to show you. I finally have another zucchini seedling. And there's actually two of them. Here's another one. But these have taken a month to finally germinate. I'll let these grow another week and then I'll thin it to the healthiest one. Going to harvest some of the first beets. Over the years I've grown three different varieties of beets and they all look exactly the same. They're undistinguishable from each other. And it turns out growing six beets per bus box is the perfect number. I like to freeze the beets in Ziplocs and I'll add these to salads in the winter time. Thank <laughs> you. 